Hi there, it's senior editor Kevin Van Ord standing in for reviewer Leif Johnson to tell you about Consortium. Okay, someone's a little eager. Consortium is a lot like Mass Effect if it were stripped of all that business of exploring worlds and drilling planets. Here, events unfold in an aircraft from 2042 that feels like the Normandy and looks strikingly similar to a Boeing 747. But this isn't some soulless ripoff. Look past some tough bugs and visual oddities, such as the ugly, dated faces, and you'll actually find a worthy role-playing game. Okay, then I believe you. Consortium is populated with a motley selection of nationalities and races that work for a peacekeeping organization that may or may not have sinister intentions. The entire concept hinges on a military hierarchy that labels people with the names of various chess pieces. Yep, uh, Pawn 12, David Benedict, uh, at your service. You, for instance, take on the role of Bishop Six, a warrior enforcer of sorts on his first day on the job. Ready for your first day? As the plot reveals, it's a fun job, and you end up investigating murders, sniffing out traitors, and attempting to tame mercenaries with diplomatic skills. This is very good. One of Consortium's most fascinating quirks is that it acknowledges you, the player, as participating in a satellite-based game that lets you slip into the minds of figures from alternate futures. That might sound a little bit like Assassin's Creed setup, but only minutes in, Consortium lets you blurt out the truth if you wish. Part of what makes Consortium so appealing is that this story element affects the various mysteries and events. Push things too far, and the talking chess pieces around you might start to doubt your ability to lead them to checkmate. Are we done here, Bishop? Please, guys, yeah. The crew members sound far more human than their antiquated models would suggest. Conversations flow well from one to another, regardless of shifts in subject matter, and Consortium tops it all off with a generally competent voice cast. Hey Six, are you ready to meet with the Queen? You spend almost all your time with these folks on the ship, so it's good that the three decks offer plenty of exploration to make up for the absence of any ground exploration. Partly thanks to the inclusion of a sweeping musical score, the mere act of exploring air ducts is a pleasure in and of itself. Consortium includes a shooter element, though you can usually avoid gunplay by focusing on careful answers and juggling the dispositions of various enemies and friends. In fact, shooting is so secondary that much of it occurs in training exercises in a holodeck of sorts or through a brief virtual dogfighting sequence. There are no specializations or skills to tinker with, only a smattering of weapons and the ability to incapacitate down soldiers or to heal allies around you. But be warned, Consortium is glitchy. You might think the game refuses to load, only to discover that it takes five minutes or so for the main screen to appear, and there's an otherwise impressive sequence late in the game that can cause all manner of problems. So many problems, in fact, that the developer had to provide players a workaround just so that they could see the game's ending. That's too bad, because Consortium delivers a uniquely enjoyable RPG experience despite its rather disappointing running time of around four to five hours. For now, though, it's best to wait. Consortium has a fascinating story to tell that leads you down some bizarre narrative pathways that break the fourth wall. Considering that this is partially a game about time travel, waiting a couple of weeks for the upcoming patch plan to whip the game into shape isn't that long to hold out. What do you say, Bishop? Will you surrender peacefully to me? Ah, <laughs> boy, that 